Hello, good morning. It's Sunday today and I thought I would thought I'd start as I mean to go on and get ahead on a weekly-ish attempt at a vlog. So here we are. I've actually just uploaded the footage that I've cobbled together from the last few weeks to start editing and I'm, I'm, I'm being very ambitious but I think I can get it up today. But I don't think I can but I'm going to start editing it this morning. It's quarter to ten and my sister and brother-in-law and their kids are coming over for like a late birthday party for little baby Gaby who's not a baby anymore he's two um because they're on holiday when it was Gay's birthday so we're doing that today and then tomorrow is bank holiday Monday and we're going to Hainsley's family's which is about an hour or so drive from us uh, to see all his family because also we haven't seen them since Gabe turned two and just haven't seen them for ages so it's a busy bank holiday weekend I'm just wearing this weekday. Um, it's not actually a dressing gown, it's a kimono, but, um, and I usually would wear it just open over the top of an outfit, but I actually quite like it as a dressing gown. The only reason it's not really a dressing gown is because like further down here, there's not as much fabric, so I have to really pull it across the old bump. If you weren't pregnant, you could use this as a, um, as a dressing gown quite easily, but obviously with, oh, <laughs> obviously with a bump, makes things a bit more difficult but look at that <sighs> I feel like it's getting bigger by the second anyway so yeah I've just ironed my beyond nine linen jumpsuit because why break the habit of a lifetime because that's what we're going to wear today I really really must get another one but they are just very expensive so I can't quite bring myself to buy it outright when really we're trying to save money for when this baby comes do you know what I mean um so that's what's happening today I'm just going to get myself dressed put a little bit of makeup on I need to go to Sainsbury's when it opens which is 11 because it's Sunday and pick up some lunchy bits for when my sister and the kids get here and uh there we go that is the plan for today okay here we are we're in Sainsbury's we've got my favorite parking place do you have a favorite parking place at the supermarket if you don't what are you even doing it's my favourite parking place because it's on the end but there's like a hashed out box behind it and then obviously it's at the end so then no one can park too close to me like both sides and I can also access the boot and I can drive straight out so I mean if that isn't a perfect parking space I don't really know what is I don't know what else you want to be honest oh hold on my sister's messaged me where is she got him out of breath and I haven't even um, so yes, we're going to go in Sainsbury's, get some bits for everyone. So there we go. I just realised it's Sunday, it's bank holiday, so it's quite busy. So I've brought you with me, but I don't know if I'll really speak to you very much in there because I'm just not great at vlogging outdoors anymore, you know. I just don't have... the con no, It's not confidence. Anyway. It's much, much later on. Um, I went to Sainsbury's and I meant to like, unpack my shop with you, but my sister and brother-in-law and the kids were here when I got back, so then the day just ran away with me because it was just chaotic, but it was lovely. But I was gonna show you kind of my, my like, I mean, I wasn't hosting by any stretch of the imagination, but like, I feel like when you are an adult, there comes a period where people come to your house, like family members, and you're supplying the food, and that can be a bit daunting. So I was just gonna show you kind of like my go-to things that I've been doing when we've had relatives come over. It's been Gay's birthday, like through the summer. So I've done it a, a few times. Well, I've done it a few times in my life, but I feel like since moving to the house, I really narrowed down like my go-to's basically, which is, my sister's vegan also, so I had to take that into account, but my go-to is, um, so I bought from Sainsbury's, I think the box has been taken out to recycling, but it's basically like a chicken, it says chicken, shwa chicken shawarma that you just pop in the oven and then you put it apart. So I just find that that's very easy. Um, I don't have to cook the chicken for hours on end. I don't have a slow cooker. It's not a huge amount of preparation. So that in the oven, there's your meat. I then do a potato salad and some kind of pasta. 
because they're real crowd pleasers. Um, so I did vegan potato salad, basically just got um, this vegan mayo actually from Hellman's. Anyone is interested in this, but this vegan mayo. I've used vegan A's before by choice. I'm not vegan, but I actually don't mind it. And they do lots of different flavors. Um, but they didn't have that in Dainsbury, so I got this one and actually I don't really see a difference between uh, normal mayonnaise and vegan mayonnaise. So this one was a lovely one. So yeah, potato salad. Today I did pesto pasta, which is usually a bit of a go-to. And sun dried tomatoes. I didn't re actually realise that pesto has got cheese in it. And then I was like, oh yeah, I think it does have like pecorino or parmesan or both. Um, so my sister was like, don't worry, like there's no, you, you literally can't get a vegan pesto. So I was like, okay, fine. So that was that out of the window. And I didn't put mozzarella in that, but usually I would do pesto pasta. Sorry, I can hear Gabe laughing because um, Hazy's putting him to bed and like reading to him. And there's a bit in this particular book that he always laughs at. Yeah, pesto pasta, I put sun-dried tomatoes, mozzarella, sometimes mix in some creme fraiche, salt, pepper, all that kind of stuff. The broccoli sometimes I put in my pesto pasta. Garlic bread is always a good thing to have on hand. Some kind of basic salad, so like cucumber, tomato, red onion, feta is a nice one, or lamb's lettuce, cucumber, um, cherry tomatoes, that kind of thing. And then we had like crisps and nibbles. Oh, and then I do a plate with like chopped up cucumber, carrot, pepper and hummus and I also got some falafel. That's like a go-to spread for me <laughs> for if people come and it's around lunchtime. So I don't know if that's actually very helpful to anyone, I don't know if anyone cares, but I just think there is this period, there's this transition I suppose when you're an adult in a family where you become the place that people are coming to and are expected to have some kind of food and that's really quite stressful. I just think about when I was younger and I used to go to my auntie's houses and they'd like do dinner for everyone and the amount of people that were there and I just thought my god how did they deal with that like I literally have a breakdown every time it happens and it's fine but I always feel a bit like oh and like oh I haven't got enough food Ooh. um anyway then we had some cake and we sang happy birthday to Gabe and it was all very lovely I'm now absolutely exhausted I've just realized that cupboard has been open the whole time um I'm now absolutely exhausted we filled the dishwasher with every, most things, but there's a little bit of washing up to do, which I'm gonna do now. And then sit on the sofa for a bit. I'm gonna make a cup of tea. And that's it, I feel like I've got a cold coming on and I just feel quite exhausted. And I, I like it, that is from, I think I've worked the last five days doing hair. So yeah, that's me. Um, it's Wednesday. Um, God, it's been bank holiday this week and I just don't know where I am. I just had a client this morning very quickly um, just having a toner and a blow dry um, so I have just finished her um, and it is almost half 11 and I thought I would vlog today. Gabe's at nursery until 3 so I'll pick him up later because Haynes is working but I just thought I think I'm going to go into town treat myself to a little coffee and a bun somewhere well actually I think I'm going to go to John Lewis and there is a there's like a cute bakery place in there. Um, so I might go in there and treat myself because I need to go to John Lewis because it's that time of year. And so I started thinking about winter wardrobes for myself, but for Gabe. Primarily waterproof things because we have nothing waterproof that fits him. And it's, I looked on the weather next week and it looks like it's gonna rain every day. Um, so what we need is well primarily today I need to get a waterproof cover for his buggy because we have never had one we've got the baby zen yo-yo it doesn't come with the waterproof cover um, so you have to buy it separately I've realized that John Lewis do a universal one that's half the price of the baby zen one and everyone says that it fits the baby zen so they have them in stock so, so they say on the website in John Lewis so I need to go and get one of those and then I have also ordered we had a waterproof suit from Regatta for him, which is very thin and you just put it all over that, like you just unzip it all the way and it goes over whatever they're wearing. I ordered one of those this morning to come because that's quite an easy thing to put into his nursery bag because it's very thin. And then there's other things that I like the look of on H&M, but I am happy to wait till we get more into the season because A, the sizes are not in stock. And I think I just missed a 20% off baby and kid event on H&M that happened over the bank holiday weekend, annoyingly. So I'm gonna see if I can wait for them to do another one and then get Gabe's winter stuff 
like basically his outerwear pretty much. So I'm gonna pop into town as I say, sit down and have a little drink and a little bun. I've got a voice note for my friend. I will pick Gabe up at three and then my friend Charlotte is coming over with her daughter this afternoon because she wants me to cut her daughter's hair. Oh, I need to take my scissors home. Okay, so we went into John Lewis, got what I needed to get, which is the stroller cover. Decided not to have coffee because it was very busy, but I've just popped into H&M to see if they have some of the rain stuff I was looking at online, and they do, and it's this. I really like this pattern. So that's the trousers, and then that's the little jacket. But I think for Gabe, I was, well, they only have this colour, which is like, and it's nice, this green, I don't mind it. And then this is the jacket, which I love. I love the jacket in green. Um, but I was thinking I would maybe prefer navy, but they don't have the navy. And online, they don't have the navy. Like, absolutely huge. Um, I think these ones are, oh no, these are size two to four. Don't they look massive? I mean, Gabe is quite big though. So I don't know whether to just get them now, so that we've got them or to wait until, as I say, H&M do a 20% off. I'd like that for me. Isn't that so cute? I love it. I love the shape of it. It's like a Reigns one. I just don't know what to do for the best. I'm just balancing you on the kettle, as normal. I decided, did I tell you this already in town? I did. Decided not to take myself for coffee and pastry because it was so busy because it is still summer holidays and I was gonna go and have a look at some other things but it was too busy and I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna save it and treat myself next week when it's quiet because I just don't like shopping when other people are. So I'll wait till the kids go back to school and do that next week. Cause I wanted to do an, on my Instagram, I did a reel about pregnancy wear from COS. It, it's not pregnancy wear, but things I would wear whilst pregnant from COS. And I want to do that with a few other retailers. So I want to do it with H&M which I could have done today, but again, quite busy. So next week when the kids are back at school, I know that I can go to a quiet H&M, probably on Tuesday morning. What am I doing on Tuesday? Yeah, just didn't take myself there, but I'm gonna make myself an iced coffee now. And then I did treat myself to Itsu, those dragon rolls. I mentioned them last week. And I decided to go for the salmon ones because I looked on the Itsu website and did some Googling and people have said that like this stage in pregnancy as well, it should be fine. So I thought I'm just gonna go for it. Um, so these are the dragon rolls. Oh my God, aren't they so good? So yeah, crispy onion, and then these have got salmon and avocado in, and I can't wait to tuck into those. Because before, I also went to the bakery across the road and got myself a little piece of banana bread because they do the most incredible banana bread. It's got chocolate chips in it, I think, and it's just delicious. I just had a nap on the sofa. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I just fell asleep whilst I was having my lunch. And now I've got to go and pick up Gabe and the right way around. But should I do that thing that Hannah Mitchell like used to do? One, two, three. Here's Gabe! <laughs> Hello, Angel. He's got his dummy in because um, I think he got a bit overwhelmed just now at nursery before I got there. She said... Um, he just was having a bit of a not a happy time, so we don't mind if he needs the dummy now and again, do we? You say hello. Oh, Daniel Johns. Honestly, my iTunes. Usually, so our car like connects to like the phone. And it will usually be my Spotify, but every now and again it's my iTunes, and I haven't updated my iTunes for like years, so it's very nostalgic, as you just heard, and it's eclectic, you know, from NSYNC to Silverchair in a matter of minutes, and that spans my entire adolescence. The power of Daniel John's riffs. I just want to show um, something uh, for any mums that is, are interested when I was talking about doing things with Gabe for his development and it's specifically trying to find things to do um, that we can do quietly. Like we have times in the day where we have no TV on and we just sit and kind of play together. But many of you that are mums will know that doing anything for kind of long periods of time to keep them engaged, there isn't that many things. Are you okay? This thing, 
Okay, he's moved on to cars. So what I was trying to say was this. So my dad bought this for him for Christmas. Way too advanced, really. Um, and we haven't, we didn't really do much with it uh, when we first got it. But it's basically, as you can see, a caterpillar that's alphabet pieces. Can't do that. this through a camera lens. There we go. You just make the alphabet. But he just really enjoys, again, it's one of the things that we've got in one of our little Aesop canvas bags that we keep in there. So we keep it all together. Um, but I just feel like it's a really good thing to have that you will get a lot of use out of. Because at this age, he just enjoys taking the pieces out of the bag and passing them to me. Obviously he can't pass them to me in the right order, but we lay them all out and then I lift up a piece and I say A. What I think I want to do is get some alphabet cards to go with them so I can hold up something that begins with A as I do each letter to help give him context. Because obviously if I just say A for apple, he won't really know what that is. Anyway, so he, this, he will sit with me and do the whole of this alphabet. He, for some reason, always holds on, always holds on to Z. I guess because it's like a small, quite, uh, it feels quite nice, I guess, his hand. <laughs> but he will always hold on to this and he knows when it's getting towards the end. And then I get him to put this last piece on. So in terms of holding his attention for quite a long time, it's just a really good one. I'm not sure where it's from. I'll see if I can find a link. And then, as I say, it's the kind of toy that you could have for years. Because obviously, as they're learning colours, as they're learning the alphabet, just help them through all those stages, basically. So, yeah. It's just one thing that I think um, has actually, I underestimate. Like when we first got it, I was like, oh yeah, that's quite nice. But I actually think that it's it's a really good thing to have. Over there, he's got some stacking bowls, which are actually measuring bowls. Can you see he's taking them in and out? Those and those stacking cups just there. He loves doing those two things as well. So yeah, this is kind of how we try and structure the days like the nursery days. I might have a little bit of TV whilst he has like a snack and some milk. And then I try to turn the TV off, have some playtime, and that will take us to dinner, which actually should probably be in about maybe 15, 20 minutes. Have dinner, and then we might have some TV time and playtime, which will take us to bedtime. Sometimes when it's been a nice day, we've gone out for a walk after dinner because obviously it's light outside. So we just see, but yeah, I always make sure that there's some playtime throughout the day that's just quiet. No other distractions so that we can really work on. Um, it's things like this, like, well, those stacking bowls he'll do himself, but it's things like he really likes this book and grabs for it quite a lot. Um, and he just turns the pages, but I try and sit with him. And rather than him just frantically turning the pages, I try and get him to look at each page and then just say the word, just say the object that's on there. So yeah, it's things like that where it's like you just don't want any distractions. So even the radio, you just want it quiet so that hopefully they can just hear um, the words that you're saying. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> I look awful. It's been a while. Uh, once again I apologize this is going to be like a bi-weekly vlog because I started vlogging last week if you can hear lots of building work it's because there's lots of building work I'm currently sat in a car park and there's no one in this car park which is great but no let me just explain so last week I only vlogged a day I think and I was just, I was working most days, so just really busy. I, with all the best intentions, I try and vlog when I'm in the salon, but I just don't get round to it. And then by the time I get home, I'm quite tired. And then it's dinner time and bath and bed. You know how it is, working mum life. So this week is a much quieter week. It's operation content for my hair business. I've got lots of hair things that I want to film. Um, and I'm doing hair, I'm doing hair here and there, but it's, not as busy as last week so I have got some space to breathe so it's Monday morning I look not great I've got no makeup on and I just shove my hair up because there's no reason to look nice today and I've just dropped Gabe's nursery and I have popped into town to have a little mummy morning I need to go to the post office and I also would like to try and find some maternity knickers. Like I basically need more supportive pants because Bumpy, which you can't see now, is rather is growing at such a rate that I just feel like I need some support. I think you can buy like belly bands and stuff, but I just I like to have things over the bump. I hate underneath. So to have knickers underneath and a 
and a separate bump band it wouldn't work for me I need pants that will go up I can hoist right over and just keep me all nice and compact and sealed mostly at work by the end of the day if I've done a long day of hair it just feels really heavy I might also go look at a pregnancy pillow but I might just order one off Amazon I really resent buying a pregnancy pillow because I don't need it for that long I'm half I half feel like I've got ages to go because I feel so big I'm like how much bigger can I actually get I'm half like god this is going to be over so soon because we're in September now and we're due end of December but I wonder if they might come early because Gabe came early so I'm preparing for kind of mid-December and I'll be winding down winding wound <laughs> winding down work the first couple of weeks of December so yeah I just feel a bit like it's it's going so quick but also not at the same time I'm kind of I feel like I'm just ready to have this baby now <laughs> but I have a nice morning I need to go to the post office I'm gonna go and get myself some breakfast it's 20 past nine so there's no rush um so I'm gonna go and have some breakfast I'm gonna go to the post office I'm going to buy some big pants I might look at some loungewear because I definitely need for the for the winter months and just going forward I need my jogging bottoms are not going to fit me for much longer I've got some old like pajamas from Uniqlo that I bought when I was pregnant with Gabe which are perfect but I would like to look at loungewear for when I when I get bigger and also like postpartum for the new year just to kind of wear this almond croissant oh my god it's one of the best I think I've ever had it's delicious look at that this is a place called Mason and Rye which is which is at the top of Bentors in Kingston if ever you're in the area highly recommend it's just an H&M again actually last time I vlogged I was in H&M wasn't I and I'm in the maternity section looking at bras just seeing what they've got and I've just come across obviously the new bin section and look at this Oh, look at this one. It's got a nice little green. Oh, I could have just turned it around. It's got a lovely little green one on the back. I actually had these for Gabe. We've still got them. We packed them away. And I think these ones as well. I'm quite sure we had for Gabe. Kept everything from Gabe's, but that we didn't have. And I just love it. But I'm not buying newborn stuff yet. But I am going to get the baby some new things. Probably not until like November, I don't think. Look at this. Gabe didn't have a hat in time for when he was born, so that's one thing I'm definitely gonna get. Sorry, just me again, because I've, I've just seen, I don't know that they had these when Gabe was born, but if you are due a baby soon, these, they've got lots of these sets. And so you get a hat, a long sleeve bodysuit, and a pair of trousers. They've got like cute, mini ones, very sweet. Uh, how cute is this? Anyway, if you were having a newborn, that would be really useful for a hospital outfit. Just a little tip. Oh, okay, this vlog is gonna be all over the place and I can only apologize. Wait, what time are we on? What time? So today's now Monday. I meant to um, perhaps vlog a bit yesterday and then edit it yesterday to upload last night. That didn't happen because I actually left the camera here in the salon, so I didn't have it at home. It's on Monday, so I thought I would definitely um, take this home today, edit it and get it up this evening. Um, I am just here in the salon because I'm doing, I'm quickly cutting my friend's hair this morning um, and then I'll be going home to edit this vlog. Gabe's at nursery, Hainsley's out today, so I'm on mum duty. I just ran to Starbucks because I needed to get some more blonde roast. Can I just talk about how lush these coffee pods are? Um, they're a real crowd pleaser in the salon, specifically with, I like the Califia Farms Barista Oat Milk. I know oat milk's getting a bit of a bad rep at the moment. I mean, fine, whatever. But the Califia Farms Barista one is particularly good with a little blonde roast. And I just think, if you haven't had a blonde roast, they're not the strongest coffee, but they're just really nice and creamy. Nice for like a Sunday or an afternoon option. If you don't want a coffee that's gonna blow your head off, 
the blonde roast is fab and as i say it gets a real um gets a real response in salon people are quite surprised people are actually quite surprised at how good the coffee is that i serve here obviously because it's just a little room but i just have my espresso um and my milk frother and i think well, i said this when i first opened this one thing i want to definitely be able to do is serve good coffee um so yeah i just went and got um some more blonde roast and I thought I would try, tis the season, um, a pumpkin spice situation. I'm not quite ready for hot coffee, but this is the pumpkin spice cream cold brew. And when I first tried it, I was like, holy shit, that is sweet. I don't have much of a sweet tooth. But actually, as I think as the ice has melted, it's not as sweet. And it's actually quite nice. I don't think I, I couldn't drink it all the time. But for a little treat, it's quite, it's all right. And then I got, obviously, cheese and marmite chia butter because this is my favourite thing ever. I can't start a day, with, no, I can start a day without it, but I prefer not to. So there we go. Uh, right, the battery's flashing at me, <laughs> so I'm going to stop vlogging. Um, I'm, oh, oh, hair in my mouth. Oh, oh. Um, yeah, as I say, I'm just here this morning anyway. I'm going to catch up in a bit. Oh, it's a bit later. He's just eating his yoghurt. Um, and I am making, well, starting to make a bolognese. The onions are burnt a bit. Oh, goodness me, turn that down. For Hainsley and me to have for dinner later. He's out at the moment, but he'll be back. Well, I actually don't know if he'll be back for dinner. He's going to let me know. But bolognese is always a great one to make for that situation because it can be put in the fridge and eaten at a later date. We haven't really done much this afternoon. I am going to end this vlog here. I filmed a TikTok. <laughs> I've actually, something actually, I've, I do actually have something to say. I got really into TikTok recently. So I was a passive TikTok user and was quite into um, some accounts I was following. But I've started to upload to it for my hair business, primarily. Not for, I think, I don't think I'm, I have the viral capacity to do it as like just me and, and that be the brand. Um, the mental strength to do it and just keeping on top of like viral trends i feel like tiktok, TikTok is very trend when it's you as a person so and i just couldn't do that um however for my hair business i'm finding it really refreshing to use and i feel excited about it and it's it's given me like a whole new area of my business really because instagram is definitely where i like i get clients um and you can post images of the hair and you know showcase what you do and stuff and it's definitely where i make all my appointments and speak to um my client base and community and stuff but tiktok is different because i feel like you can really pitch yourself as like an authority in whatever area which is um when i say authority i don't mean that in like a, i'm an authority in hair but like hair is my passion hair products are my passion i love talking about them and i love communicating these things to consumers um and so i just have been really enjoying the engagement i suppose i've uploaded a few videos and talking about products and things like that and people are asking for advice and i'm just really enjoying that platform for that uh, and like in the longer business side of things it's it's good for like brand positioning and to position myself within the hair space i suppose um, please feel free to give me a follow if you're also on TikTok and you're interested in hair stuff. Thank you so much for sticking around if you've got this far. Um, I hope it wasn't too boring and I'll see you on the next one. Mwah.